Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is Satisfactory Day 2 of the 1.0 launch. And uh, there was, I think, a little update overnight. And uh, I played around messing around with my graphic settings this morning for about an hour. And I didn't crash once. And I was in and amongst all of the nonsense and Devastator. So hopefully, knock on wood, you can't see me tapping my forehead right now, we will be crash free, at least mostly crash free. Uh, I'm going to leave the autosave on something pretty short because uh, the autosaves are actually really quick and easy. So they don't really seem to lag us out very much. They're not an interruption. So I'm okay with that. Uh, if anybody is curious, there is a run hardware benchmark tool now. Uh, this put me on medium for most things, and I decided to bump it up to high because some things kind of looked like garbage. And I don't know if I can. I may try to play with global illumination. It looks so much better. But I'm getting between 50 and 60 frames a second. Uh, I did decide to stay with the uh, upscaling method, although I don't have an NVIDIA option. For upscaling so I don't know what my options are there I don't know why it's giving me AMD I have an Nvidia video card it might be that my 1660 is too old um, I really need to try and update my PC uh, but we've got a few little tweaks here and there uh, you can pause the video or the VOD later if you want to check out uh, my stuff uh, I also have conveyor belt item frequency set to capped at 60 and a few other little tweaks that should help but, did I change those? Yes, okay. We will load into the game. I also went back through and I redid some of the MAM updates for Summer Sloop and Mercer Spheres that we did the other day. We're still at the same phase. I need to go, first thing I need to do is go down to Megatron and get uh, more of the stuff that's down there and bring it back to the main main area. Has anybody else been playing and uh, been able to get past their their crashes, if they had any? Axinim, Cosmic Dancer, Storm Dance, good to see y'all. Sweet Sandy, hello, hello. Super fast, welcome back. Uh, it's Robin SP. Thanks very much for the follow. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I did not see any settings to get rid of those guys. They just walk through your factories willy-nilly. Dislike. <clears throat> that would be a mod that I would install. Would be just getting rid of annoying stuff like that. And I need to go, I guess, Western. First, I need to make sure I get inventory space, which I do not. So we should put some of this stuff away. I do like the new sound effects. They are nice. That might be enough room. Where do I keep the rods over here? Oh, they're there. All my chests that are colored look different, of course, because uh, it's nighttime and there's a, there's a purple light overhead, so it's changing the color of everything. That should be enough. 
What I should do is bring a train. Just in case I have to come back. That's probably a good idea. Yinlink says there's a pepper spray mod? Does it like get rid of the ticks? How's 1.0 feeling in the factory? Uh, yesterday was um, a little sketchy. We had a lot of crashes. They seem to manage themselves after we started to stay away from Devastator. But we don't have any problems here at Megatron. And I think the issue there is that Megatron does not have nearly the same amount of belts. We did discover that Megatron is more fuel efficient though. So instead of 400 fuel gens, we only need 240. Which is good, because I feel like that project was a little bit beyond me anyway. A little bit too much going on. I may have to go into the menu and adjust the train volume. I know it's fine for you guys because I've got the sound duct, but uh, I feel like it's a little loud. I feel like I'm shouting. I know that they gave us those kind of controls. Uh, feels a little bit loud for you too, Grandpa Crafter. Is anybody else thinking the train is a little bit loud? Or is it just the game overall? Because I did turn up the game volume compared to me on stream. Maybe I turned it up too much. Uh, effects volume. Somewhere here. Vehicle volume. Oh yeah, these are all reset. Train volume. Let's take you down to something like 70. I'll do the same thing for all the vehicles. And we'll see if that helps. Explorer volume. The factory cart's kind of silly and small. I don't mind that. Uh, factory volume. Maybe I'll take that down a little bit too. Sometimes I find that a little bit loud. We can always adjust as we need to. So the main reason I'm here is over here. So even without Lumen on, I think it still looks pretty good. Uh, my frame rate is not amazing. I do... It's over on the right hand side. I'm getting uh, 59, 60 frames a second. I still get a little bit of frame stuttering. Like I still get a little bit of like back and forth. Um, but it's not terrible. Delara subscribed to tier one, 37 months. That's amazing. Hi there. Hope everything is good in 1.0 land. It is going pretty well, I think. We do not have great deal of emergencies. I think we're doing all right. So I'm going to leave some of this stuff here, but other things like this, that, these things we are going to take with us. I don't know why I have so many of those. I think we're okay there. Don't need those. I did notice I was kind of low on plastic, so I'm going to grab some plastic to bring back with us. And I believe I still have plastic going into boxes down there. Yes, it looks like I do. 
Grandpa Crafter, set up a monthly tip. Thanks ever so much, Grandpa Support Crafter. Support for great creation and community. Uh, let's do... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put those on the train and bring them back. I guess I don't really have to put them on the train. I'm just going to put them in storage anyway. I don't think there's anything else here that I need. I think we're good. I really am looking forward to finishing this place up. Alright, so this is a test of lower volume train. Now this to me, I don't feel like I have to shout over. But if the game volume is gen in general is still loud, let me know. <clears throat> Much nicer balance, yeah. So I, I still want things like footsteps and factory building and stuff to, to be a thing. Can easily hear both you and the train. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't want it to sound dull. And I found that when I was watching my VOD from yesterday, that the, the video sounded a lot lower than me. And I don't want to be, like, on top of the mic, but I've had issues before where I am too low in general, my stream is too low, and then people turn me up, and then a, an ad happens, and it's, uh, it's super loud for people, and I don't want that. Stormdance, what are you most excited for in 1.0? Uh, I am most excited for, I think, the void storage? Like the. Yeah, see, the autosave is like a, a blip. It's not even a thing. See, yeah, I'm excited about the void storage. I am excited about. Honestly, I'm excited about finishing this factory. I'm excited that there's not going to be any major changes for a while, and I can just go ahead and start to make permanent fixtures. Uh, what else is really good in 1.0? I think, I think honestly, given the time and energy that I put into this game, I am really excited for the fact that it's been optimized because of the 1.0 release. I think that's, that's great. I'm going to put some of you in here. Do I have rubber anywhere? There it is. Stacking these things up is a really good idea for just quick manual storage. What is that supposed to be? Huh. Weird. I don't know what was in there. It doesn't appear to be anything. Color cartridges. Oh, flowers are maybe no longer a thing. We don't need them anymore. That could be what's there. That could have been what was in there. Uh, what could I put in there that I don't have elsewhere? I guess rubber? I mean, really, this is all going to get moved. I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about, is really making this feel like a Transformer build, rather than just, like, keep on saying it's going to look like a Transformer build. Do we have steel anywhere? I could do steel next to each other. Oh, there's steel over there. Yeah, I guess we'll do rubber. How is the um, the interface? Can you hear me going in and out of like these noises and stuff? Since I changed my graphics, I'm also noticing that these look better too. 
like the the, the in the UI is much nicer. I think flower petals are gone, yeah. So you're getting the UI sound as well. Okay, so we've got um Some of this mushroom stuff, and I had more hanging out over here somewhere. That's all the alien goopy stuff. Technical term, alien goop. I could have sworn I had more organic stuff over here. There it is there. I guess I don't have as much of the mushrooms as I thought. See, this is not the best system because you can't access the top stuff from down here. Uh, mycelia. Let's see what stuff in the ma'am we can unlock. I think I need some of that. Alien megafauna. That's completed. Alien technology. I need... 10 of those little things. So I can do that no problem. It's, I need 10 of those. Now I can do that with a constructor. I don't know what the ratio is. Because I went back and I unlocked the stuff we did before the crash, so we can make these. Four to one. I don't think I have enough. No. Do I need to use this for anything else in the alien technology? No, nope, that would be the best use of it, I guess. Alright, well, we'll start it anyway. And... While we wait for that, the mycelia tree. So I need 50. Is that coal? That's compacted coal. I must have coal somewhere. Biomass and mycelia. Yeah, I'm glad that they use the customizer instead of the colors. Do you still have to use color cartridges to paint lines on the ground? Like decals in designs? I needed coal. That's compacted coal. The only thing I can think of is going to a mine and grabbing some coal. I don't think I have... That's petroleum coke. Petroleum coke in. Weird little bottlenecks that you run into.
SAM fluctuator recipe unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated SAM to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection of matter in one location, breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible potential for smart storage. Your threads shift solid to fluid to a tapestry, matter, 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 and mind and melody. Yikes. <clears throat> Flowers are no longer a thing. Way to break my heart, Joel, says Cosmic Dancer. <laughs> You're never a nuisance, Cosmic Dancer. You're being silly. Have a good day if you're going to take off. Thanks to the lurk. Uh, do I need to color to paint things? We can just find out. Patterns. Straight arrow. I don't think I have any color cartridges in my inventory. Color cartridges are still a thing in the game, but apparently not something you need to make pickle because I don't see don't see them anywhere here. Turing, hello, hello. How's it going? I got your DM. Did you get my quick reply? Now we have uh, to make 10 of those and those cost more of that wire and cable so we need to find more Sam or is the thing on the to-do list we also oh yeah so we are almost at the, the dimensional depot uh, I just need to get more Sam or That'll be cool when we have to build something. So, coal on my list. So Mercer Spheres, coal. Oop. <clears throat> Can't do that one. That's completed. Sulfur. Uh, what's that? More coal. Do I need at least, I'd say 100 coal. Quickly. I don't think I have a hard drive either. So let's go with 25, 10, 215. Is that compacted coal? That's compacted coal. So I need a couple of hard drives, is what I need. Can't do that. Can't do that. So really, it's just a little bit of coal and. Um, more Sam ore. So I can put all of this, I think, in here. Let's make it purple. Uh, anything else that was ma'am related? I think we're good. these over here but I do
put this down here. Okay, coal. There should be some coal. It may have already gone to the awesome sink. Because we're no longer bringing coal in from over there. There may be some on one of the trains. So obviously our iron is still going. Because it's not being brought in by train. All of these empty belts were train supplied. And I think the bauxite is backed up because the coal is gone. And the coal is what was making... Um, the aluminum solution, alumina solution, yeah. Oh, I need to recustomize my character too. Don't let me forget. I think I might go with the green and the purple. Make like a devastator situation. Wow, overshot that. Holy crap. Steel. Iron. Boxes. Mechanical parts. Always nice to have a construction train. Even if it's poorly organized. I can take these bits back. Which guys had coal? I think... Scavenger had some coal going on. These look empty. Victory is mine. And I think while we're down here, I'm going to go look to see. Do I have that explosive? I do. Let's, uh, let's go see if I can find that entrance to a cave. I want to see if I can locate the quartz and the Sam node. Thought I was going to say Sam more there, didn't I? I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I eventually get rid of this hypertube network. I'm going to have to figure out a permanent solution. So all this seems to be running pretty well. Machines at the end are nice and... This is a lot more quiet. I mean, I know I've turned down the factory. But they seem to be... Less... Maybe they've done that on purpose? I don't know. So I thought there was a cave entrance somewhere along here. I may even have it on the map, you know. Uh, floating rock. There it is there. Ah, I was close. <clears throat> I was close. Now I've got the creatures set to retaliate, which means that if I don't bug them, they will not bug me. That to me looks like a cave that I probably closed up. I do hear some strange noises from time to time when I enter certain areas, and I don't know why that is. I figured this might be something I'd have to blow up again. This is the fun part.
Unless they've moved the cave entrance. Which I think they have. Well then. That won't do. Hmm. Yeah, it looked a little small, didn't it, Sandy? They tend to be a little bigger. A little more obvious. Wonder if they've moved. There's uh, an entrance over there. My little marker said there was a cave um, that was cleared there. This is just... Oh, there is a cave there. I'll put a marker here. Up a little bit. Uh, select the icon. I think this is going to be quartz, so we'll make it pink. We'll see. If this is how I have to bring stuff out, this is going to be tricky. I think this is just going to be like a summer sloop or something. No, there's nothing in here. Just a creepy bug. Them. I guess this would be your like unlocking the mycelia in the in the desert. Although the deserts get mycelia everywhere, so I don't know what this would be for. This is just a useless cave. Well, that's a pain in the butt. Right. Well, yeah, I didn't see anything up. Do you see anything up? I didn't notice anything. Usually caves have like an exit as well. And here's some skittering. Usually a good sign.
Yeah, I can hear the spiders. There's a huge cave entrance pretty far off. I wonder if the cave entrance is over that way. sphere <clears throat> that was cool And this place would be really tricky if it was not for the passive mode for the um, the animals. There's some geysers over here too. That's cool. They said they increased the number of, of um, geysers. Yeah, I don't know where the entrance is. Maybe this way? You'd think it would be big. If it's a large cage system. I thought I remembered where it was, but there's another cave system over here, but it's the Beacon Mushroom Cave, according to my notes this is one of my very first um, copper nodes up here too oh storm dance yeah that's a really it's a very pretty game they've done a very good job with the environment it's a huge map huge map for for what it is and how much work has gone into it it's a very very, very cool. Up to the left. I've had to reduce some of my draw distance and stuff just to kind of get better frame rates, but it's, uh, it's still really good. Like the shimmering you see on the trees is just because my graphics have to be set a little bit low. Boy. I feel like it might be up on the cliff. And the biogas in your jetpack is fantastic for long burns. Needing to get up places. All the mushroom cave. Yeah, nothing of any significance that I need at this stage in the game. I really wonder where the entrance to this cave is. Because it's the only quartz we have in the area. And we are going to need that eventually. So there's three quartz nodes, pure, pure, and there's the um, normal Sam. Boop. 
And Sam is kind of like a purpley color. And resources, it looks like I've got two of the three. So this is quartz or normal untapped and pure untapped. And this is pure, pure, and this is still normal, still normal. So we just need to add one more. One is two, I think, probably. So I'll, um, I'm going to have to rename these. The way that I've numbered these is terrible. I don't know why I decided to do it. I really feel like that should be like a click and drag. I keep on doing that wrong. So this would probably be quartz two. Pure. And then this would be three. Good news is this doesn't make a lot of work for us in the spreadsheet because of course, um, we don't have it tapped. <laughs> this strikes me as like where you'd think the cave would be, right? Uh, right to the east from where you are now, you have a cave icon. Right to the east from where I am now. Oh, yes. The one that I removed the other day because there was nothing in it. That looks like it could be a cave, too. right east from the courts east from the courts oh down here yeah that's over um i don't know if i decided to turn around in there the other day for any reason but yeah we'll go back over there too that's in the other zone i hope i don't have to bring the courts and the sam all the way out to scavenger i mean i guess that's good i could just use a train to get it in Oh, it's not a cave, it's a ramp. Power slug. This might make these guys mad at me. Skadooch! Did indeed make them mad. Come get some. I am Jedi. Oh, it's Samor. No, it's Rock Quartz. Oh, there's this luck. It makes such a weird noise. We've walked all the way over here. I'm missing the icon that you're seeing, Sandy. I don't know. Is it this one? Did I make green? Or is that lighting up for a different reason? I don't know why that's green. Mm. 
not made of green. It just turned green. Interesting. Well, this is certainly big enough for belts. So I would imagine that this probably leads us all the way back to wherever the quartz is. Do I have enough to make a miner? I hope I do. I might even have some. Yeah, I do. These have all gotten decorated and stuff. They look really cool. This would be unfortunate for us if we did not have passive creatures to not. All right, left or right, Gandalf? I would say left. And it looks like there's sunlight coming in somehow. I feel like that's a weird glitch. Yeah, strange. Well, that's cool. Uh, just out of curiosity, I want to know what this looks like if I turn on the moody lighting. So if I did global illuminations, moody and bright apply. Moo creepy. Although all of a sudden you can now see the Sam. <laughs> Save the game here and just play. Or is it quartz? Either way, we probably have found all of them. I think this is the new Sam. Yeah, that's the new Sam. Okay, so map. Uh, player. Uh, untapped. And entrance in Green Valley. Did I jump over the quartz, or was the quartz to the other direction, maybe? All right. My mouse, unfortunately, is very laggy when I have global illumination on. It's great for screenshots, but it's not good for much more. When I was playing earlier and I had really good frame rates, I also wasn't streaming. Oh, there's the quartz right there. I walked right over top of it. Probably because it was dark. And the other quartz is back here because they enjoy making things a pain in the butt. Curious where that comes out, though. Maybe it is down there? I must have missed it. What does it say? What does what say? Samorn? Uh, mining. Or it's a normal. These are always really fun. So these are the portable miners that you need in a large miner. But for now, we're going to let those do their thing while we... Uh, just make note of the nodes. It is a big ore node, yeah. So it's raw quartz pure. That's what we had before. 
your... There's a slug up there. goes down that way, I think. Man, I wonder where the exit is. We've got some options, it looks like, as to where we want to take out the belts. I think the best thing is probably going to be to take it back to the um, Green Valley train station. I'm glad that collecting these slugs doesn't, like, AoE aggro those guys. Another Mercer Sphere. I'm curious. I'm going to try this again. With all the um, ambient lights and stuff. Ooh, cool. Can you imagine trying to fight these things in the dark? <laughs> like, no, no. The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention! Your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. <laughs> goes around in a circle. Oh, there's an exit up here. Oh, I'm underwater. Wow. So that's one cave entrance. Obviously, the slug is here to entice you to come this way. Oh, I was not even close. We, I think we walked. Where did we go? I think we were through here. That's one cave entrance there. Okay. Yeah, you can't see it, probably because of the rendering. But uh, you can hear that we're, we're swimming, like I'm, I'm not walking. But you can't see the water. That's a little... If it wasn't for the sound effects and the swimming, I wouldn't know. This is the quartz uh, Sam. Nope, wrong way. Ada has become sassy. Yeah, I really, I really like Ada. It's such a cool part of the game. I, I do want to go back and play like a new playthrough. And uh, oh, I think we're supposed to be. That's weird. So the water level is above our heads. Huh. That feels like a mistake. Stream time is at an hour. Thanks very much. We will um, collect our Sam minerals material. So 
So this will unlock, hopefully, the void storage for us. I keep calling it void storage. The dimensional something or other. What was the ratio? Four to one, and we need 60. Do I need 240? I should have enough. Yeah. See where the exit of this tosses us out, and then we'll go on a break. I don't think it's going to be as close as I want it to be. Plus, it's through all of this. Yeah, the more I see, the more I think that we need to just take things out through the um, the first entrance that we came in. Yeah, I like the portable miner, miner stack now as well. Ah, there's the big entrance that I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. How many? Oh, I don't have any left. No, I've got 12. Boom. We obviously needed more. Kaboom. Needs more boom. I agree. Still more. Is it mirrored? Did that not do anything? Uh. Hello? That's not good. I guess those ones have to be blown up from the outside? Which makes sense. that they're not going away either. Anyway. Wow, it's way over there. Oh, that's wrong. Wrong one. I'm so glad the game kept on my colors too. Nighttime, I should be on a break. I don't know that I've really spent any time up this way. It was a huge pile of rocks, I agree. 
So Devastator is right here, so I still think that it's going to be better for us from an infrastructure standpoint to take it all back to the western slopes. Not the western slopes, to the Green Valley. There are more coal nodes over here though, I think. Don't know where. Up here somewhere. So, does anybody know what that noise is? Did y'all just hear that? Is that because I just kind of got close to my factory and it decided to make a noise at me? Because it's not, it sounds like a bad noise. It doesn't sound like a good noise. I wonder if it's because some of the machines are shut off, right? Because they're not receiving goods. Which is by design because it was causing us lag. So while... I am on break, 100, 4 to 1, that's only 25, how many do we need? We need 10, we've already done that, but we need... Six to make one of those. And we need 11 of those. So we need 66. We need a lot more than just this. Oh, I get to try the new... Um, lineup. That's cool. I'll do two stacks. I'm assuming those stack to a hundred. Anyway, that'll run while we're on while we are on break. Break train. Folks, if you're new to the channel, I do try to take a break once an hour. I'm a little past that right now, uh, but you get to ride the train. And we'll be back in about five or six minutes as soon as I set the auto driving. Uh, Megatron, Construction 2, and Devastator Hub. Safe changes. Go, go! Back in just a few.
And we're back. Snuggly Boo Bear. That's a great username. Wow. Uh, I'm new. How long has Joel been building all of this? I would say... Three years? But I don't play it all year long. We go in fits and starts. Generally, whenever there's an update, I tend to do a little bit extra. Uh, the save, though, has 1,100 hours. And I don't really AFK, so that's all pretty, pretty straight um, gameplay time. But I take my time. I, I've unlocked all the way up to tier 8, but this factory itself doesn't even make computers yet. It's just a very big version of like a, of a tier 4 factory. We've got aluminum. That's kind of where we left off. That's where we left off. Uh, nickname is from my partner. <laughs> That's, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. Uh, we have 75 of these now. And that's gone. And we need to make... I think they're in an assembler. No, it's a manufacturer, isn't it? It's a big boy. And I need plastic. And this is why I appear to have gone farther in the game than um, than I really have built up is because I do a lot of this manual stuff to unlock things. Don't need that. This can go in there, probably with the rest of that. And now I need to make a manufacturer. Bigger, better, fix it? Fix it or? What did it say? It's faster? Sam Fluctuator. Uh, just do manual wire. No power 10 per minute. That's new noises too. doesn't actually make the thing, it makes something different, I think. I think it makes the supercomputer, or the quantum computer. I think that's the quantum computer. Supercomputer. Yeah, it looks like the supercomputer. I feel like there's an echo. Does anybody catch that? And then that gets sent off. That's really cool. And it comes out the back. Even though it's one of those. All right, we'll take our 11 over here. Need a Mercer Sphere. Dimensional Depot. Dimensional Depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer Sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. Once parts are fed into the Dimensional Depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer Inventory and Build Gun System at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. Weave. I wonder who wrote this. I wonder if it was, like, written by AI, too. Uh, okay. So we've unlocked it, but these are just like different ways that we can increase it by upload speed, manual depot uploader. 
Oh. Enables uploading from the inventory. Okay. Depot expansion. 200% that crease. Wow. So you need a lot of these. Um, what are they called? Sand fluctuators. So that would be, I think, one of the things we'd have to set up fairly soon. Uh, and then over here, I need another 10 to access that stuff. I also needed to unlock something with coal. Pipes. Oh, what does it cost to build one storage thingy? That's a really good question. Uh, it costs a Mercer Sphere, 10 SAM fluctuators, and then normal stuff. So it's restricted. You can only build this, like you're restricted by the number of Mercer spheres that you have. So I can build one of them easily once I get more of the sand fluctuators. Pipes. This is just me wanting to like complete the trees. I know I don't need to do that, I just want to. Research completed. Gas mask and filter unlocked. Mycelia fabric is highly absorbent, making it more effective at toxic gas filtration than the standard issue Pioneer helmet. A pleasant pine scent is included. Gas filters require regular replacement for optimal safety. Cool. Power slugs. I can't do that yet. And sulfur. Hard drives. I'm locked by hard drives. I didn't see any hard drives in any of my chests anywhere. So I'm guessing that I don't have any. Satisfaction of completing a tree at uh, the tree is a chef's kiss. Yeah, thanks. I also feel the same way. Uh, let's take those out there. I'll change this to black. And I'll put our coal in there. So we know we have it. Goopy bits go in there. Don't know why I have this stuff all over the place. This actually makes these pretty fast. I need another 10 at least. 10 there. 100. 100. 47. 47. 29. Okay. We're just going to get that one. Just so I can unlock these. And be done with it. Uh, three animated Sam thingies next to the chest. Thank you. What's 
what's it called? Reanimated Sam. Perfect. Saving the day, Sandy. Your new nickname. Needs a better name. I agree. Some of the names for the new parts are a little bit odd. Potential for harnessing alien energy completed. Fixit has identified two development tracks requiring additional research to integrate summer sloops safely and efficiently into Fixit technology. The loop organ contains scripture, contains instruments to compose symphonies of root and rod and recycling. Shrines to evolution and revolution. So weird. So I would say the next one might be the upload speed or the stacks and stuff, but we won't worry about that. I'd like to get on to a little bit more of the technical stuff. I want to look and see where I am with um, the iron and stuff in the area. That's just going to sit there for a bit. This is all kind of temporary and that's fine. Uh, we are out of that. I can just leave that there. Well, you know what? Maybe we don't need it for unlocking anything in the in the ma'am anymore. I think that's the only thing you can do with it, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll just do this then. Might as well make all the things. Uh, the Mercer Sphere is no longer a work in progress. No, uh, it is those things now. They're very kind of like wobbly and spatial dimension-y and very cool. Uh, and there is a portal. I don't see it here. I don't know if it's in the tiers. Oh, it says that I've not unlocked petroleum power. Um, railway signaling... Control system. Yeah, so I can't quite get to tier. We're, we've unlocked tier 8 before we updated. And phase 4. Is, yeah, we're very far away from phase 9. The new UI looks cool, too. Did I have a blueprint marker, too, there? Petroleum power. Railway signaling. Oh, there we go. Blueprints number two. That I think I could do. Um, more computers, more rubber, and more concrete. This is so not organized. Computers. There we go. Still yet more rubber and heavy modular frames. Yeah, I've put in a lot of time, a lot of patience. This is the first time we've done this in the new game too. Cool new effects. And it goes up to the actual station probably.
the dock anywhere? Or just disappear? Really, really tiny? <laughs> We're probably not supposed to watch it. It's just kind of stuck there. <laughs> Milestone reached. The blueprint Mark II improves upon the Mark I in every dimension, except for the metaphysical ones. Hmm? This improvement was made available due to complaints from pioneers about other pioneers <laughs> not being capable of managing their space efficiently. We listen to pioneers, always. <laughs> always. That's not creepy at all. Oh, boy. Uh, so that's the Mark II. That will give us... The 5x5, five five, and it costs a little bit more. It's got computers instead of wire. Slightly different recipe, but it's not the end of the world. Anything else that's particularly cool? Mark three miners. I can't make those yet. Uh, I think you have to use... You, you don't get tier six belts until you get into quantum stuff. We already have these. I'm not sure what exactly I'm supposed to do here, but I could probably do this. Pod will return in seven minutes or eight minutes. Okay. Well, we'll unlock those as we as we have a chance. Yeah, I don't see anything cool and important that I can actually access. Particle accelerator is beyond me right now. So is turbo motors and the Mark III miners. Um, I can already scan for sulfur because of the MAM. I could unlock that. We can get all the way to the end of tier seven. No problem. Uh, and then we're just stuck on mid tier eight. And that's fine. That's where I was before. Um, Mark six belts are at tier nine. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, they're a quantum, quantum thing. So we got stuck there because we ran out of this. So right now it's got several other recipes. Um, I think mostly we need it for those. So that's what we'll use it for. It's weird how it's not making any noise. I guess I could try the new belt system. So if I hold control, it makes, is it control? No, it's the new belt, it's R, right? There we go. Nice, right angle belts, super fun. So if I built a container here, right? And we turn it around. Is that the right way? Wrong way. No, that's right. Then I can grab a belt. And because I've got the right angle, it, it just makes right angles. I can just go right into that building and it makes a nice square straight. Beautiful. Nice. Ooh, that's cool. Unfortunately, my screenshots still don't work. I don't know whether it's my game install or what, but I have no idea where it saves the screenshots and I can't seem to find them. So I have to use Windows to take like a a screenshot. And it's not the easiest. Man, those are really cool looking. I wish they had more simple products like this. I feel like the cartoony, chunky products look better 
than the ones that look more realistic, if that makes any sense. So that's fine. So we needed 29, I think, was the lowest number. And we're already out. So, yep. We're bottlenecked by not having automated SAM happening. All right. Well, let's take a look um, at my iron production and see what might be happening. Because right now I'm bringing a lot in from over here. And I don't know if we have all the right, um, I guess, balances. And I think the best way to uh, take care of these guys is to bring them out here. So we'll start with these guys here. Really what I should do is think about how the iron nodes in the rocky desert are numbered. And I think I should probably change the way that they're numbered. I think I needed to be a little bit more straightforward. This is a very square top to the mountain. Um, let's... I know I did like Rocky Desert North and South. So if I bring up my sheet, if we go to Rocky Desert, we've got East to West Rocky Desert North resources make that bigger so one two three and I should do I should redo that east to uh, west to east east to west is backwards so that's um, iron floor smelter number one 300 per minute That can't be right. So we've got to look at what's happening there. Oh, that's constructors. Uh, this is... Yeah, this needs a little bit more information. I think this goes to the heavy modular frame. South Rocky Desert. Rocky Desert South. That's all south. Where's the, there's the North Leg Iron Smelting. But that's just the North Leg Floor 1. What I want to do is figure out where the nodes are doing. Okay. Game peak example of under-promise and over-deliver. Yeah, it's, good, it's a good way to describe it. Is that like a process flowchart? Yeah, so um, I, in order to keep things straight, I have numbered the mines and I keep track of where things are um, from a floor perspective uh, in my builds. And so I can track where things are coming from. So unfortunately what's happened is we've got, uh, there's been new nodes added. There's been um, nodes removed as well. So we don't have to worry too much about the removed ones. It's the ones that have been added in this situation where I want to try to get them. I see the coal is very far up in the 
in the north. I don't think, as far as the ones that are removed, I have anything to worry about. There's no iron changes in the added nodes in the rocky desert. There is, I think, up higher in the north. Decreased purity doesn't change anything. So really, the iron nodes in the rocky desert should be the same. I just want to be better organized. So what I can do... These are both pure and untapped. I think these are the same. There might be more nodes over there. Normal, normal, and normal. There's the four coal nodes. So it looks like I might have to go over there and kind of figure out what's going on. Normal. Oh, come on. I really wish that this mouse over thing would be consistent. It's really frustrating. That's been the same all through the development of the game. So I th those are all correct. It's just that they're not numbered correctly. So we'll go to the north here. And also, I think I heard my drop pod come back. Um, has all of the purity been changed, Alara? Or like, cause I've got the images that say what purity has been changing, but maybe, maybe it's, um, maybe it's not, um, the images that I have, maybe they're not accurate. Motors and plastic. This is always very satisfying. Milestone reached. It is my honor and privilege to inform you that the fuel powered generator, as well as the industrial fluid buffer, are now available. <laughs> Due to a lack of gold in your sector, Caterium will serve as a suitable replacement to construct the fuel powered generator. Your research into this element was valuable. In fact, you in particular are my most valuable pioneer, but don't tell the others I said that. It would be bad for morale. <laughs> I really liked what they've done with Ada. Uh, so we already had the fuel gens. Uh, the fuel gens have been uh, sitting over there. We've got 400 of them. They're just not quite rendering in. Um, you can sort of see where they go. Uh, but each one of those wings has got 25, so we have lots of those already. Uh, I would have a look to be 100% sure. If I remember correctly, there are now more normal nodes than pure ones. Yeah, so I think you're probably right. Um, it's easy to get over there anyway. button. 
I guess I could have used my little, um, whatchamacallit, zipline. That's those two, and then there's two over there. There's four here. And it says pure and pure, pure and pure. I mean, I have no reason to doubt it. Hello, Lizard Doggo. Did I drop my all my berries? I did. So, we have all those right. Pure untapped, pure untapped, pure untapped, and... Well, the only thing I'm going to change, I'm going to change the numbers. I think left to right is going to make it a lot easier for me. And that's four. So that stays the same. And then we just update the sheet to change this to... Uh, one, two, three, four. And I had a note here of what we were supposed to do with them, so I'll leave those. And then... These will end up being different numbers. I didn't see any new iron nodes that popped up in that scan. There might be other stuff down there, but for now, I'd say these other ones are accurate. Also, my um, radar towers are giving me, I think, the resources. I don't think I have to scan all the time for them anymore. Yeah, I think my resource towers overlap and they give me this stuff, so I don't have to scan for them. Remembering how those worked. So those are all normal nodes. Again, this mouse over. So this would be four, five, six. This would be seven. And this would be five if I can ever get close enough to it. Five, six, seven. North legs melting. Have you bounced on any rail ticks? No, not today. I have not. I have before. Ada absolutely comes now. Uh, now comes across as an AI HR drone, and I'm here for it. Yeah, totally. I would very much like to change the name of this sticker, but it won't let me. Arrow keys don't seem to work. Oh, I can do it here, can't I?
not the easiest. There we go. Nope. Iron. Let's make life a little bit easier, hey? Where is the other one? There it is there. Can I not change the data on it? Here we go. Five. Uh, and this is going to... Don't really know. So if I move over here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That makes sense. So we'll update the sheet. And then we go check to see that my stuff is going where I wanted to. I had this grand plan to bring everything in via train, but then I started to get these little clusters of nodes that were really close to the main bus. And so it was easier just to set up these little like production hubs I hate it when you lose your momentum. I, I banged into something there that wasn't there. So these are all going. So we've got uh, five, six, and seven. And I don't think they cross over. So five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five is on the right. Goes up the lift. Five stays on the right. I don't think they combine at any point. They might. I think this is my messy, messy thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a merger. So we've got five and six are combining and jumping onto the main bus. And then seven is on its own. That should only be doing 300. Does that get combined too? No, that's a waste of a belt. So five and six get smooshed together. And that is currently in our top slot over here. And then seven is just on its own. And that is in the number two slot. Now I know what's going on. So what I need to do here is add in a little extra information that I did not have before. Uh, we will, oops. Uh, what's gonna be the best way to do this?
So these belts happen there, and then this is going to be the main bus. And these get combined. What did I say? Five and six go together. And so this is now main bus 25. And that's 600 per minute. I think that's 26. Yep. But it is only 300 per minute. What I don't know is how it gets sorted out with the smelters. Zoom, zoom. So five and six go in the top and seven goes in the bottom. We need to have more doors. Weirdly, I don't know, I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. They both go to floor one. What I should do is switch to the hover pack here. Miner two and three, that is now incorrect. That is five, no, six and seven. Um, like that. And then this, no, five and six. Iron Miner 7. And so they are all going to the Floor 1 smelters. That's getting re-split down into 300 and 300. Going into 10, 10, and 10. I don't think I numbered the bays. We can do that too. Way off the mark on purities. Two nodes had their purity raised, one quartz and one caterium, and ten had their purity increased. Iron was not touched in that. Ah, okay, cool, Delara. Thanks. So those images that came with the press kit seem to be accurate then? Yeah, there's quite a lot of iron in this area too, yeah. I'm going to need it for steel because we're currently going through iron like crazy. Uh, this gets... Some of this gets moved on, or does all of this get turned into plates? I think all of this gets turned into plates. Yeah, okay. Well, that's pretty straightforward then. So what I'll do for now, um, when I get back from a break, I guess, is it nearly nighttime? It's getting close. 
I should do this while I think about it. Um. I guess we'll go left to right with the base. That's probably the better way to do it. Rather than on the way in. So I'll do a sign. Oh, you can put them right on the ground now. That's cool. Still tries to twist things around on you, which is weird. couldn't switch the jetpack. Yeah, that's a bad noise. Good timing on the break. It's almost nighttime. Once again, folks, another quick break while I get some more coffee. And you tell friends about the stream, right? Right? Uh, we're always trying to grow the channel. I would appreciate it if you wouldn't mind spreading the word. Uh, I'll be back in five or six minutes. No path. Eh? In trains we trust.
I can just about catch it. I really wish it was smarter about where it would drop you off. It just kind of throws you out the side of the train. Do I have no footsteps? I guess I have no footsteps. There's a few bugs left. I anticipate a patch to come where they'll have a bunch of these little kind of quality of life immersion things fixed. I think there was coal in this. Nope. Hello. Can I not open you? Something is wonky. That suggests to me that I should save the game. Uh, iron. For sure they're going to have a patch soon. Cold gens are bugged. Oh, are they? Uh, day one bug list is pretty minimal. Otherwise, yeah, I know I did notice the coal, the coal thing. So we need. Take a look and see what's happening with those smelters. Right. Switch out the packs. So seven is feeding into bay three, and then five and six is feeding into bays one and two. And it may not seem important now, but sometimes this kind of stuff comes up later. Uh, so this is just going into north leg smelting. Uh, this is bay one. Two. Three. And this just gets split that way. And then I think those stay separate. It looks like they stay pretty separate. So we'll do the same numbering thing on the constructor bays. These are bays of 20, no, 10. One, two, three, four, five. So 10 there. 10 there and 10 there. And do we... I think we'll actually do left or right here. The construction noise is still pretty loud. 
The sign makes an awful racket for how small it is. So even though I wanted to go left to right, I feel like it would make sense to have Smelter Bay 1 go to Construction Bay 1, 2 to 2, and 3 to 3. We have not decorated anything down here either. So this just gets moved over. figure out where those go. I think they all get combined. So the output of all of these, I don't think they've changed the recipes, have they? 30 to 20? Um, 20 going out. 30 going in. I wish there was an article that would say, like, these are the recipes that have changed. This is what you should look at. So these get spat out into the middle, sort of. I don't know why it's way over here. Why did I not line it up over the middle? Very strange. So, output of bay number three gets combined with half of the output. Oh, this gets tricky now. Okay. So, all of bay one is combined... This is a splitter? Why is that a splitter? That doesn't need to be there. Okay. This seems to be moving kind of slow. So we've got 2200 that's a Mark III belt. That should be okay. 270. Uh, then it's joining... Half... Yeah, so bay number two... Is going... Half that way and half that way, but it doesn't matter because they all get sent into one <laughs> one thing anyway. I'm not sure why I designed it like that. Probably because of the way that the belts line up. I may end up changing that later. Uh, either way, it should be 600 because we've got 20 times 10, so it's 200, 200, and 200, so it's a total of 600. I think I just split the middle so it was easier to combine. Okay, I see what's going on now. So really I should give myself a little bit more room. So I can at least say what's happening. Uh, 
So each constructor bay spinning out that, it all gets combined into 600 uh, 1 Mark 5 belt. And that's going to reinforced iron plates. Which means... Yeah, none of this is actually happening. Now, do the reinforced iron plates need 600? Yes, they do. Then all of this is garbage. So then we've got all of the north iron, at least I now know what's going on with it. Sweet. And we've already done the copper. I don't think there's anything um, new in like the copper iron situation. This stuff is all temporary. Anything you see that's orange in my factory is, is just a temporary box for things. For parts, usually. And this is all iron that's coming in from across the way. Not bad. Okay. So all of that iron is good. I know all the copper is good. I don't necessarily want to be on the map the whole time. So really it feels like what I need to do is start to think about the, um, the train stations and getting those back up and running. I feel like our iron... We've got more coming in from across the way. Yeah, most of that's moving. Some of it is not. I don't think they added any... I guess I should look to see what has been added in this area. So we've got two power geysers. There's a sulfur node. There's quartz um, that we've already got. We've marked that down. There's a caterium node in the distance. All the remove nodes, they didn't remove anything from the rocky desert at all. It was all the western slopes. So I've got four coal nodes and I've got two geysers and what looks like a sulfur node. They didn't remove any coal from the crater lakes, so that's good. Sweet Sandy, do you know of any um, of of any articles or or notes online where they've flagged like these are the recipes that have changed in one one point oh? I'm gonna make one note here, and that is this is three hundred per minute. And this could be um,
of that. I know I wanted to make note of. I haven't seen any myself, but I have been looking for them as I started a new save. Ah, yes. So starting a new save, you'd get all the correct information from the get-go. That would make sense. So how do I have the rest of this rocky ever? Iron. This is north to south. West resources are numbered north to south. Iron, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There's no need to mess with that. And then south. And, aha, so this is the other stuff. This is north link, iron smelting, floor 2, 3, and 4. Iron 13, 14, and 15. That's these ones here. Why did I go backwards on those? I don't understand. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That's fine. So I did, I did these backwards. They all stay on their, the one track. So 20 times. Yeah, I think that I'll do the same thing. I'll just have to figure out the destinations and how they switch. That's all. So I'm going to do this because I don't want to do this right now. I want to renumber those. Uh, and then I've got iron coming in from... Oh, that's why one of these belts is slow, because I think that the top five floors is a problem. Devastator Scavenger. Rod production, steel production. Devastator Scavenger Station. So this is the, scav the train's off right now. Right, I remember about the messy bus, messy bus thing. Oh, that's what I wanted to look at in terms of building. I need to really figure out now that we've got um, you can't access your inventory in the um, hypertubes anymore. I used to be able to switch from the um, jetpack to the the um, hover pack mid mid hypertube. Because the jetpack or the hover pack, you lose all your momentum. This is annoying. So, down there, I am not super happy with the way that the main bus kind of comes out. So, the idea was to have this be a lot cooler looking. I unfortunately, I think, underestimated how much room under the train station I was going to need. Um, there's a chance, and it's still something that we could do, even though it did take me a while to design this train station, uh, it would not be a tremendous amount of work to raise this up. I think it would um, probably give us a decent amount of, um, I guess, flexibility through here. Um, so that's a possibility but at the moment what I really really don't like about it is uh, this because the main bus got designed after the train station I really wish these were just straight through right and unfortunately we have to like lower them down underneath like the decorative lip of the train station so there's like this this extra oomph that gives the train station this nice look. But we have to go underneath it. And I think I'm having a little bit of deja vu about my thoughts to potentially raising the train station. Probably one stop at a time. 
I think it would solve a lot of my design problems. It would give me a lot more room to run this train tunnel. Right? That would look cooler. We would have more room in here for this kind of stuff. And then I would also need to think about the mistakes that I'm making. So right now, I've brought these guys in. In the middle. Right? They come in here and they go down. And then they've got to get crossed around and brought over here. What I should do... Right? All of this should be here. That way, when it comes here, there's nothing for it to go around. It'll just go straight down into that, right? Um, so yeah, I've, I've given myself this thing that I have to go under as opposed to over. And I think that that's probably one of my problems. Because basically we could give ourselves enough room to have the train on one level and the um, belts on another. I think, anyway. So that's one key problem. All right, cool. I'll um, I'll see if I can find something in the meantime. Thanks, Sandy. Appreciate you looking. For folks wondering, we're looking for a list of recipes that have been changed, if at all. Okay. So the list, the train station moving is probably one of the things that I want to look at. I, I really don't like that you have to like close that with the X for it to remember. We have to change the power station as well. I think the other thing I have to look at is what's happening with the overflow. I think that's one of the reasons I didn't finish design, like decorating this, is because I think it's going to get taller. No, do not want you in my factory. Ah, I have one left. Vamanos. Of course, he runs deeper into the factory. Oh, well. He can't win them all. Lots of things to do. Yeah. I, th this is the kind of situation where I knew I was going to have choice paralysis. i got to remember, now that we're in 1.0, one nice thing is that I can start doing some, some build stuff and really start to make this place look like Devastator. So... That also is something that I could probably do. And I feel like I've been kind of puttering around here for like two and a half hours and not really doing anything. It's more like just making sure that this save is stable, which it appears to be. Uh, I've had no problems whatsoever. Um, not noticed anything. Uh, a little bit of video lag, but like that's, I mean, I've always had that with Satisfactory. That's never been a thing. I don't have the latest, greatest computer. That's probably what's happening there. So we could plan out a little bit more of what's happening on the other side. I do want to get this iron sorted, though. Because these are supposed to look a lot cooler, right? And I don't have any real way of changing the way that this looks. I do like some of these doors that I've added. I think they look kind of cool. So only two of our belts are working. I don't think things I don't think these cross over, so we'll just take a look. So
Okay, there's two iron nodes there and one iron node over there. And I should be able to see the resources with the... Yep. So, hide map markers. Pure, pure, and pure. Wow, there's a lot of pure iron in the rocky desert. And I'm going to go left to right here. That's 12. It's not going to not going to show me. 12, so this should be 13. Fourteen. And then fifteen will be this one. Fifteen is currently the one that's not moving. So on my sheet, I can probably just reverse these. This is 13, 14, and then 15. I might have to reorder them. So probably going to the middle floor. I'll have to flip those around. So 13 is going to the middle now. I really hit the wrong button all the time. So right now, 15 is the one that's not moving. And then we've got 14 is the lowest one. No. Oh man. That's a real... It's a real pain. Why did I do that? So it goes 15, 13, 14. Yikes. 15, 13, 14. Did I straighten it out here? 15. 13, 14. I did. Ha! <laughs> that would have bugged me. Past Joel was bugged by that too. So now it goes 15, 13, 14. So it goes 13, 14, 15. Left to right. I like it. Much better. Clear as mud. God. The one downside about playing this game for so long. <laughs> 13, 14, 15. Got it. You know what? I'm going to do it. Oh, I can't place them on these? That's annoying. Uh, what about architecture thingies? That'll do. That little sign makes a really large noise. Can I? I'm gonna change that a little bit. I think. Let's uh, audio equipment volume, factory volume. That's vehicle weapons. Nope. Factory. They're not in alphabetical order, which would have been helpful.
equipment volume. Hmm. I don't know whether there's a setting to turn down the build noise. I don't see it. It's user interface. You'd think that would be under audio, though. They go underneath because I ran out of room. They all come out here and they don't cross over one another. And they go 13, 14, 15 left to right. Okay. Where does the other one come from? That comes from a diff that comes from a train, I guess. Right, Devastator. I think Devast uh not Devastator. Scavenger Station. Right, that's the fifth floor. Cool. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Rather than going inside and getting turned around, I'm just going to go in this way. This is stuttering and stopping because we are not use, utilizing everything. So, this is 13. 13 is going to a whole mess of spaghetti. being split. So that's 13. 14. Weirdly is staying on bottom floor so I crisscross them so there here's where they crisscross for no good reason oh I did have some signs we'll change that that's 13 and this is now not 13 that's oh wait a minute I was right this is 15 So, for whatever reason, I decided to put the middle one in there. And I don't know why I did that. That's 14, and that's correct. And this is going to the second floor, I think. Okay, 
That's good to know. Uh, so 14 didn't change. That's staying on the second floor. So I shouldn't have to change anything there. I do find it a little bit easier to read sometimes when you separate things. middle. Storm Dance, thanks ever so much for hanging out today. Hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. Pastual had some weird plans with all the belts. Yeah, Pastual got impatient. That is exactly what happened. Uh, I don't think this is necessary. I think this is just confusing. Uh, and this goes... Under main bus running south to north. So now we just have to look at floor belt 13 and figure out where that goes. Oh, there we go. First crash. It's only been, what? Like two or three hours? Um, I don't see anything. I mean, I can't read these error reports anyway. It looks to be about the same. We haven't turned anything else on. Two hours and 45 almost, yeah, that's not bad. Just give it a second, it'll cloud sync and then restart. Just sort of curiosity. I, I mean, I know obviously uh, I've got some core viewers here, but when I'm going over details like this, and I'm going into spreadsheets and, and stuff like that. Like, is it the kind of uh, content that you're enjoying about Satisfactory? Like, does it give you ideas about how to plan your factories? Probably from an autosave. Um... Oh, that's only a minute ago. Sweet. Now the question is, do we last longer than a couple minutes in this neck of the woods? And what is causing the problem? Snuggly Boo Bear says, I love it. It makes my organizational heart happy. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I need it to not go crazy. <laughs> um, so there's that. So this is 14, comes in on the floor two. We established that that does not change. So I need to look at what happens to 15. Thirteen goes, I think, upstairs, whereas 15 stays on this floor and is just getting split and balanced back here. Zipped along in weird, silly ways. Where does all this come from? Oh, that's the floor below. Okay. So this is floor three, and it is being fed by 15. How 
does that work? I guess just because I've got them reversed. It was fed by 13 before? Maybe I had them wrong. Yeah, floor three. And then floor four. I really should change. Should be blue. Oh no, wait a minute. That's blue for screws. Instructors. These ones aren't actually labeled. Four is nothing but iron. Thirteen is feeding the top floor. Fourth floor. I guess I had it wrong before. They are stuttering. Uh, I think it's because they're not all being used. Because on my sheet, they are going to um, Devastator Heavy Module Frame Rod Production. Don't know where I'm even making rods. Oh, that's on floor four. That's what this is. No, two. And that seems to be going just fine. And screws are not happening. And that is because screws, I think, are coming from the top floor. That is the top floor. And the top floor is a train. Okay, floor five is the train. And that's, I think, part of floor five right there. Where does that come from? Yeah. So where do the screws get there? I'm not making any screws at all, am I? We have no... No input for the screws. There's the input for it. Relocate. Oh. Did I decide not to make screws here? Don't know why I needed all the screws. Do they just no longer need to be in existence? So I guess my sheet was wrong. I didn't, I, I changed the numbers, but it's now the sheet is correct. Um, 15 goes to the third floor. 13 goes to the fourth floor. That's what we had, right? Fifteen goes to the mid floor. The fact that this comes in at the same level is just confusing. Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen goes to four. Yep. And I remember doing these notes before we started 1.0, so th this is new. And that's accurate. So I guess the curiosity is why they're stuttering. 
so it's the fourth floor, which is 13? No. Yeah, these are struggling to output their stuff. Oh, it's probably because the coal isn't running. Yeah, I guess the problem is that, I've, of course, I've got a lot of stuff that's stopped right now. Uh, computers, a recipe that changed? Um, I don't think so. I think it's because I don't have coal coming into the into the 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 base at all. Uh, where is Green Valley coal? Is going to aluminum green valley iron is going to the fifth floor melters and that goes to steel so it's coal from crater lakes that's going to north steel foundry So I could turn on, um, is it Scrapper? Pretty sure it's Scrapper. Let's see what happens. Pretty sure it's Scrapper. Uh, would labeling at each floor building entrance exit help track consistently? Oh yeah, like in the stairwell? 100%. I just haven't um, finished decorating a lot of stuff yet. Scavenger hook. Scrapper is all coal. Turn you on and see what happens. Well, that's happening. I'm going to not be in Devastator just in case. Uh, it's actually just about sundown and just about three o'clock for me. So I'm going to grab one last break. Uh, once again, if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. I do like to jump on a train so you guys get to ride around and see the stuff that we've built. And uh, gives me a chance to zap the coffee, which I keep on making, but keep on forgetting to drink. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to see what we can do there. I think I also deleted my train. I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Well, that timing worked out. My cam link and my new sound panels just arrived. One more thing to add to the list of studio improvements. Can't do much with the cam link because I don't have the cord that doesn't arrive until tomorrow, but I can at least uh, put up the sound panels, so that's good. Yeah, I missed the Amazon person. They were, they had left it downstairs. Uh, my, I keep my phone on silent when I stream, obviously, and um, I didn't see any phone call come in. So um, they had left it downstairs, but thankfully it was a pretty big box because of the panels. So it was pretty obvious. Um, I usually prefer expensive stuff like a cam link to be like handed to me, but I had to sign for the camera. The camera was something they wouldn't give you unless you had a password. Um, but the um, the other stuff, it's it's chunky enough that I'm not too worried about it, but like the, the little, if it was just the cam link that came on its own, the little teeny box it would come in or the envelope it would come in would be very easily for, you know, for to be to be swiped, be stolen. So um, unfortunately I didn't hear the buzzer. Sweet Sandy, thank you ever so much for your help today. I uh, appreciate the modding. I know it's late for you. Have a lovely, lovely evening. Uh, Snuggly Boo Bear says, I don't think I'll be able to play the game. You're a Mac user, but this is the type of living vicariously I can go for. Uh, do you have consoles, uh, Snuggly? Because um, it's coming to consoles. I don't know when. I was about to do something before the break, and I do not remember what it was. Oh, it was the coal. So we've got the coal going now. So we've got steel production happening. I wonder if that's changed our... Um, iron movement at all. Let the autosave tick up. This is floor number one. I don't know if it needs to be two meter sign. Maybe we'll do a one meter sign. Two Devastator Greens. Certainly helps in the dark. I don't think there's a five accessible by stair. I think five is like a mezzanine. Yeah, I haven't continued up to five because I think that goes outside. Um, just no good reason, I guess. I just stopped the stairwell. That looks to have solved any of the stuttering issues in the first few floors. Well, I get my the thing that I really wanted to do today was make sure my iron production was doing what it's supposed to do. So that's good. Um, I was correct in that scrapper. 
was the train for Crater Lakes. That's good. The nighttime desert noises are definitely repetitive. Ah, I can actually turn on some refineries as well. One thing I know that I can do is I can go and start deleting some stuff. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff up here that it just doesn't just doesn't exist anymore. Uh, this train station doesn't even really need to be there. Uh, so we've got a few things we can tear down. I just need to make sure that I have enough inventory space to do that. And I think that will help with my vision for what I want to have come in for trains. You can dual boot your Mac, which has worked uh, for Minecraft, but I think that would be enough for this. Um, Why do you need to dual boot for Minecraft? Minecraft, or do you play Bedrock? Because Java Edition runs on Mac. I played, I played Java on Mac for years. Apparently Minecraft runs really well on the new Mac minis. I say new, the like one of the latest versions, the M1 and beyond. All right, let's uh, get rid of some inventory stuff here. I don't need gas. I probably don't need a lot of this weaponry stuff because I've changed the creatures to be a little bit more passive. So I don't need those. Don't need the fabric. I'll keep the concrete, or at least some of it, in case we need to get into a situation where we can't reach. Ports for signs. I can't see myself needing the health. Keep the gas filters. What do hypertubes use? I may want to keep some of this for hypertubes. They are mostly sheets and iron. Not iron, steel. I guess some of that might be stuff we get back. Oh, I can also drop another drop pod, can't I? Java does surprisingly well on Mac OS. I actually pay uh, modded on the Mac side. Very cool. You play Bedrock, so got there and switching over has been a struggle. Um, Snuggly, do you know about the spawn chunks? Do you know about the, the podcast that I do about Minecraft? That's kind of like my main my main job. I'm sorry if you mentioned that when you first came in. I might have missed it. So we'll need a thousand sheets, 800 sheets, and a couple computers. You do? You love it. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you like it. A thousand sheets. 800. One, two, three, four, plus some for me. So we already had these, but the completionist in me wants to check these off. Milestone reached. Train signals placed on train rails can control and improve train behavior. 
This helps to avoid events where multiple trains attempt to occupy the same physical location. For information related to earlier train events, please refer to your employee non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> I like that events was in quotation marks and there's that little pause. Train events. <laughs> Clever. Also, I keep on forgetting to do this. I wanted to change my colors again. Hmm, maybe the other way around. Green overalls. Make the purple the highlights. There we go. And then maybe some yellow. <laughs> that's uh that's a choice. That's a choice. Maybe we'll do like the dark purple here. Or the light purple. Or maybe we do green. I like that. Green stripes in the helmet. There we go. Switch it up. That's a lot of green. I think I'm just going to go with the original one. Cool. It's a devastated choice. Go green or go home. Uh, I think that was everything. I was going to put those away. We're going to be getting a lot of material back. So what I should do is I should bring a train over there. To be able to put stuff in. We're good. Let's do maybe three cars. And of course, I need steel pipes. I think that's one of my issues is that I need I need to delete some stuff. I think it'll help me wrap my head around what I want to do. Steel pipes. And more of these. We're going to use the auto drive just because, uh, uh, Western slopes. Yeah. We, um, don't want to run into the other. Train by accident. So I, th I think before I start doing any major pipeline, production line changes, we have to sort out the new train hub and what train stations are going to be needed.
I've got my uh, effects level set low, but even with that, the water still looks really good compared to what it used to. See, I don't like where this is. At all. Is this guy just always here? seem to run into this character whenever we're here. So all of this in the back here can go. Because these nodes just straight up don't exist anymore. It was one of those temporary buildings that I took the time to make look good, but ultimately we do not need it any longer. What I really want to do is come up with a better design for these remote sort of mining operations. I want to come up with something in a blueprint, I think. Uh, oh, I maybe could just cut power to that. Where can I pull power from? <laughs> That's really messy anyway. Um, I shouldn't forget about it though, because that would be a problem. I also pulled power from down there too. Why? That shouldn't be the case. What's happening here? Am I still getting power from here? Yes. Okay. So we can correct this after the fact. Now this is, I would say, temporary but convenient. We'll leave that. Oh good, my inventory is not filling up super fast. It is really satisfying to tear stuff down sometimes. As much as I like the depth of the save that I have. It's also nice to be at this stage of the game, so not starting out new, but still have like a clean slate in a lot of places. Don't wanna leave little floaty bits though. It's like Minecraft trees. So what we can probably do here to reconnect the power is pull from here.
Yay, green light. Okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to delete the train station. But I can certainly get rid of all this. And these are now going to be empty. Just careful not to delete any of the power lines or anything in the background. Yeah, I wish the, uh, the passive creatures like the Tick uh, Dan would act like the aggressive creatures. That once you start building a factory, the aggressive creatures don't come anywhere near you. And I think that, that all creatures should do that. They should just avoid, avoid it all, right? That's just for the train tracks. And that's fine. Again, I'm not sure if I'm keeping this or not. There's no need to delete this station just for now, because we do have Caterium and Sulfur here. Whoop. Big boost. And the Sulfur stuff is still coming in the same way. So that's that. Now over here, I'll leave the power stuff, but uh, this truck stop does not need to be here. I guess I can just delete the tractor. Because the route that it had was just bringing coal and that's no longer needed. I'm a little on the fence about deleting my original starter factory. I kind of feel like it would be um, nice to to keep it if I can. Can I not highlight the... There we go. That was obviously moved in the wrong spot. Hey, there's a little thing that I couldn't find. Yay, we got one. <laughs> So these are all just pulling from water down there. Yeah, none of this is needed anymore. Wow. Huge change. You know what I could do? I could try the new stairs. See what those look like just for fun. Uh, under foundations, I guess. 
There we go. Foundations. Two meter stairs. Cool. I like them. And of course, you can change them, I'm sure, to the different materials. Imagine coated concrete and asphalt probably looks really cool. Yeah. Neat. That doesn't need to be there. That means that these four things don't need to be there. I'll keep the tower because it's obviously connecting to other stuff. Yeah. Don't want to mess around with that, but these can go. this this took a really long time to set up too does what still function Dan you're gonna be a lot more specific my friend Starter factory. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's missing a bunch of coal now, but that wouldn't really matter. crazy with the supports. kind of floaty cube. Oh, somebody told me that you can use your jetpack now right out of the water. I think it was Total Eclipse that it on a stream. Man, the water looks so good. Yeah, the jetpack recharges now. That's awesome. How cool does that look? Wow. And I don't even have great graphics settings. It must be really fun to have a top-notch computer and play this game. And I don't think they reset our hard drives. I think that we have to go get like new ones, like new, new to us. I doubt very much that we still have access to these. Yeah. Yeah, what a terrible... Maybe I can... Make this feel just a little bit better. Okay. 
Crisis of Conscious Averted. This was all measurement stuff that I did. I don't want to remove that. Right, Dan? Yeah, the water looks fantastic. The water's fine. Come on in. Although on this planet, <laughs> probably not, not something I would mess around with very much. All right, so we're leaving the train station for now. We'll leave all the other stuff that's here for now. I didn't end up needing the train. Um, that is a weird glitch for the t whale tick. What else was deleted? There was... That whole Caterium bridge needs to go. Oh, the Caterium up the... up the top of the hill. I don't like the new vehicle controls. I find them very, very difficult to use. They're not nearly as convenient or fun. The buggy used to be great, and now I feel like I'm just all over the map with it. It's really inconsistent. I think I did delete the node and the belts. Oh right, there's a whole container of quick wire here. Yeah, I can't fit that all in right now. Will that fit in the buggy? Might fit in the tractor. Hmm. That's full, okay. Well, I mean, we can fill it with something more useful. I also, I don't want to mess with that because that does have a truck route, I think. Right, we've already deleted all this, I think. Yeah. Snuggly Boo Bear, thanks very much for hanging out today. I really appreciate you being here. Take care. We'll see you again next time. I'm streaming again tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Probably satisfactory again. Um, just because it's launch week. Yeah, that's definitely the uh, the factory is not working noise, right? Yeah, so this Caterium thing just doesn't exist either. Don't even need the hypertube anymore. Oh, the jetpack is purple, too. I never thought about that. That's cool. I don't think they've ever given us an option for third person in this game, have they? The hitbox on these railings is still garbage. I do remember that. There's a bunch of stuff up here that just didn't jive with the Transformer theme as well. And so I'm, I'm glad that we have an excuse to get rid of it.
Oh, trying to leave another floating node. Remember, I took a lot of time to design this bridge, too. Sulfur can stay. It's just the stuff on top of the bridge now that has to go. Uh oh. We've started to accumulate the dreaded. Containers. I think a lot of my new builds are going to be a lot more streamlined, too. Uh, Brassmeister, hello. Yeah, Satisfactory is very cool. Uh, you're entering into it at, at a little late in the game. Uh, I did not restart like a lot of content creators this week. I am in a, a save that's got about 1,100 hours in it. And um, some of the nodes that were providing us with resources were changed in the 1.0 drop. And so um, I guess I could probably leave this here, couldn't I? Maybe we'll just... that. Uh, now the power... Did I cut the power? I cut the power somehow. Is it power? No. Power is still good. You just can't push any more stuff out. Yeah, you're just full. Yeah, if you want to uh, do, um, oh, yeah, man, is it Bang SF Creators in chat? Hold on, let me see if I can get this link right. Uh, oh. Yes. So there's a link to some other satisfactory creators. Uh, Total Eclipse is great. Bits is good. Uh, it's Kibbits is also a lot of fun. So if you want to see more content, uh, Total and Bits have restarted. I think it's Kib uh, I'm Kibitz has also restarted. I actually haven't seen any of um, I'm Kibitz's reaction to the new stuff. I'm behind. It's hard as a content creator when something new happens and you want to watch other people's like content on it, but then you also want to make content on it. I find it really um, a huge time sink. I've just been catching up over my meals and whenever I've been chilling out and having a meal. Uh, what Darren plays has also started. Uh, he started in this area too. He's like he started up over the hill there on his playthrough. Um, I think he's going to update his main save, but I think he's playing for the story for the first little bit. We are approaching max capacity here. That is a sulfur. I don't want to delete that. And I'm also not going to delete the Caterium belt. I'll leave the Caterium going. There's not going to be anything on it. So maybe I'll put it into like an awesome sink or something. So 
So the reason for this is that we have a Contarium mine and factory that's still functioning right up there. And the solution to get that to Devastator might be to get it to this little bridge and rehook up the Caterium that was coming from over there from over there. That might be one of the things that I want to change. I will, however, empty the belt. That seems like a, a good idea. I'll just put it into a bin and then we'll... Um... Oh, it's already in a bin. Sweet. We'll just, we'll just empty this. That shouldn't take too long. Can't quite see. is a lot nicer now. So that's all done. I'll leave this hooked up as well, just in case we do need it. And now what I think I should do is color these back to normal. I don't think we've updated the Devastator or the um, the Bone Crusher sheet either. Western Slopes. That has been deleted. Okay. Sulfur. Deleted. Um, that's been deleted as well. Right, uh, Western Slopes. Stop, change the train transport to driver's side. Right, okay, so that's on the to-do list. To renumber. Don't know if there's another one. I think they added one. And so now this is also going to be unused. That's done. And that's main bus seven and eight. Main bus seven and eight. I haven't updated the bus in game, so I'll leave those as notes. So really, our Bone Crusher train got stripped down to almost nothing. Uh, the closest thing we've got is all these resources up on the hill that I could bring down. But we also have an awful lot actually close to Devastator. I think that's the only thing that needs to be deleted over here. What else 
there was remove nodes. No, I got everything. Okay. Uh, let's go Devastator Hub. I don't know why... Why is it going to... Like, yeah, I don't understand how you put that in the timetable and it still, it's going to Devastator Hub next, but this is where we are? I don't know. Is gifting a tier one sub to the community. That's fantastic. That tier one sub went to Jay Geft. Lo, thank you ever so much for that fantastic support. Folks, I haven't mentioned it today, but uh, subs are 25% off for the month of September. So uh, creators still get the same amount of support, but you save a little bit of money. And that gets you access to the Discord. So, Jay Geft, I think you are already in there, but if you have not returned, then uh, connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. I wish we could get a little bit farther away from the train sometimes. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Yeah, I need to wrap things up. Moving forward, I think one of the things we need to do is also figure out where our storage system is going to be. Thankfully, this whole back end, the floor should be going up higher, which is good. I've definitely made a bright choice for that uh, purple color, have I not? <laughs> Man. Oh, before I dump all that in, I should send up the um, drop pod again, see what our next milestone might be. Tier 6 for the completionists is now done. So I need 200 aluminum casing, 200 computers, and 1,000 plastic. Ooh, that's a lot of computers. And plastic. Milestone reached. Several parts more efficient and powerful than the human brain can now be made to compensate for many deficiencies otherwise encountered in future development efforts. The blender enables you to mix and or combine parts and fluids for more complex recipes. Most importantly, project part number six, the assembly director system, should be produced and delivered to the space elevator as soon as possible. So for anybody new in chat, that is project assembly, which is not currently visible. 
That's unfortunate. I guess it's the cloud cover. Uh, the space elevator is that thing right there. Uh, that's over at our main starter factory. And we're making this thing up in the sky that is not rendering in right now. Um, but if you do end up checking out the game, it's on sale for 10% right now on Steam and on Epic Games. They start you off real easy. Equipment workshop, portable miner, equipment slot, smelter, power lines, copper ingots. Very, very straightforward. Uh, the tutorial is informative and very funny. 100% uh, worth doing. Um, so, what did we get there? We got sulfuric acid. This is all stuff we already had access to. Nothing new. Hazmat suit. Vera belt mark 5. We already had that. Okay. So now under tier 8. This is where I now can no longer really progress that quickly because I'm not making any of these automatically. They'd have to be manually done and it's it's not really the best um, best way to do it. So I also have no need nor do I have any way I'm not at the stage to get into nuclear and yeah nuclear pasta not at the right spot So we are away from tier 9. Well, that's good. At least I don't have to worry about that anymore. And plates. Very Minecraft. Um, Deja vu. I tend to do this at the end of my Minecraft streams too, which is dump my inventory. Kind of start fresh. I find in this game two stacks of just about everything it usually has you covered. And it gives you a little bit of wiggle room here too. that there for now. Same thing with this. Maybe we'll have to go get more sand more next time. Yeah, you can't miss me. <laughs> Certainly stand out. Definitely some decisions to be made over these trains. I think that's one of my, I don't want to say complaints, but it's one of the more frustrating things about the game is the length of time it takes to do something. And then the realization that you have to then change it again. I do find that very tricky. Um, the time sink of like redoing something like this top of this train station. Anyway. Problem for future Joel. Right now, uh, I think that we're in pretty good shape. We had only one crash today, and we've been bombing around this this factory for a while. Now, it's not all up and running, so we may end up eating our hat uh, a little bit later on. But uh, it's one of those things that I think um, we can continue with. I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. We have lots to do. Uh, the problem for me is deciding what to do and, and how to do it. I think the... Train stations is probably going to be the first thing that we tackle. Um, if not the train station, then I might decide on where that hub is going to be. Because uh, I, I want to move this to something a little bit more central. Uh, and have everything kind of spur off of that in the in the region. I think that would be um, a good idea. Oh, I'm definitely going to need a, a list, Dan. I think I'm going to add something to that spreadsheet. 
uh, and make that um, make that a list. Um, yeah, so I think that we've got um, some good progress. We have the new uh, Mark II of the Blueprint Designer that I haven't messed around with yet. So when we come to do Blueprints, we will have to check that out and see what we can come up with. And we have all of... I think all of the north nodes have been accounted for and really not much has changed. So we really didn't have a lot of extra work uh, that we had to do. It was more about just making sure that my notes were up to speed and all that. Uh, but thank you ever so much for hanging out this afternoon, folks. I really appreciate all of the support, the views, all that good stuff. Uh, a number of you have been with me all afternoon. Uh, and some new people. Welcome in. Uh, there is a Joel Duggan Discord if you want to hang out with the same people that you hung out with here in chat in between streams. Check that out. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Supporting at the base level will get you access to the Discord. It's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee. Keeps me streaming. I really appreciate it. You can also jump in there with a tier one or prime sub. Uh, tier ones are on sale for 25% off this month for September. So check that out as well. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Satisfactory again tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours. Um, I'll probably get back into Minecraft on the weekend because I do need to play some Minecraft before I I do the Sponge Chunks podcast on Monday. So um, probably Saturday for Minecraft would be my guess. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. And of course, Sponge Chunks podcast, the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They're available on your favorite podcasting platforms. Also on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to pass you on to Total Eclipse, I think, who is more than likely still streaming. Uh, they are a monster and a machine this week. And let, let me just double check to make sure that they're live. I'm sure that they are. Survey says, uh, oh, has Total, has Total taken a break? Looks like Total may be taking a break. Um, we will send you on two bits. Who is playing Satisfactory? I'm doing an uncapped marathon. This is their second day. Again, I think you will enjoy the time. I will talk to you all tomorrow. Thanks so much. Have a good one.